we all want safety. We all want safety. And this is not their choice to be here. It's less than 1% of all refugees that ever get the chance at third country resettlement. My father said that the reason for him to leave Congo, it was because there was a war. The teachers here can help me better by trying to understand what I'm going through. We just have a great bunch of refugee kids here. They might never see mom or they might never see dad, our brothers and sisters again in their lives, but here they are in the United States and they are working their tails off to make themselves better people. Our job is to nurture them, to show them we're going to help you. I want the kids to understand that United States has a lot of opportunities to learn and show them that, hey, I was a survivor from the war too. If I can come this far, you can too. It's nothing that what you think. It's nothing that what you hear about. What people need to understand is they're human beings. They have needs and they need to be loved and they need to be helped and cared for just as much as you or I do. I think people should consider other people even though you are from different cultures and communicate more because without communication there's nothing. So when a child and a family are fortunate enough to get refugee status, that is to get a legal status that enables them to stay somewhere safely, that's the beginning of a new future. You know, you look at the world a little differently when you have newcomer students. They kind of open your eyes to something you've never seen before. They give you little glimpses of their life and their culture. They've made a big difference in who I am as a person and as a teacher.